Hello friends, I am sure you are as excited as I am to make your first robot using the Curious Spark Robotic Kit. It is important to understand the kit we will be using before making our first robot. We will be using Curious Spark Robotic Kit for our Construction Level 1 and Construction Level 2 courses and hence we should be well versed with various parts in the kit. In this session, we will get acquainted with Curious Spark Robotic Kit. At the end of this session, you would know all parts of Curious Spark Robotic Kit. You would have understood usage of each individual part. And you would have understood usage of main tools, that is, screwdriver and spanner. C plate. C plate is usually used in making of the base. As it has support on both sides, it makes a stable base. C plate doesn't have holes or slits on the small sides and hence they generally are not used to make a mast or a pillar. L plate L plate has a slit on one small side and hence is generally used to make a mast or a pillar. As it has support only on one long side, it is generally not used for the base. Rectangular plate, square plate, double bar and single bar have multiple usages as structural parts in many robots. Single bars are extensively used in robots using cantilever movement while rectangular plate and double bars are used in conjunction with C plates to make a stable base. The kit comes with three sets of circular gears namely gear B, gear M and gear S. They have many purposes and we will spend a full session to understand their usage in detail. Gear B has 60 teeth while gear M has 36 teeth and gear S has 12 teeth. Gear B also has two sets of holes equidistant from its center. These holes are used to achieve linear motion from the circular motion. Flat connector. Flat connector as the name suggests is used to connect flat side of two parts along the same plane. Flat rotator. Flat rotator has two important usages. First, it is used to assist a structural part to rotate. Attach the flat rotator to any structural part using nuts and bolts through two round holes and then insert the motor shaft or axle attached to gear through the square hole. This will rotate the structural part. Second, it is used to create a hole in the slit. As our structural parts have slits instead of holes for higher design flexibility, we need a part which can create a hole whenever required. Flat rotators when attached to the structural part using only one nut and bolt through a circular hole creates a hole that is the second circular hole of the flat rotator. This hole is required whenever we want to use an axle. The hole keeps the axle in its place. L connector. L connector is used to connect two parts at right angle. The parts to be attached at right angle using L connector are to be placed on the outer side of the L connector. Spacer. Spacer is used to create space between two parts to be attached. Hub. Hub is also known as an axle lock. It is used to stop axial movement of parts on the axle or motor shaft. Hubs are sometimes used as spacer if we need to create only small space. Axle Axles are used to rotate parts such as wheels, gears or flat rotators. We have three size axles, big, medium and small. Nuts and bolts The kit comes with three size bolts. Majority of them are 0.5 inches long while we have a small quantity of 1 inch and 1.5 inch bolts as well. All the bolts use the same size nut. Wheels The wheels have a protruding part on one side while the other side is flat. The protruding side should be placed on the inside and helps to create space from the structural part thus avoiding any friction. Caster wheel Caster wheel can turn 360 degrees while rotating. 
It is used where we intend to move the robot in 360 degrees and do not want to use the conventional wheel to avoid any friction while turning. DC motor. We use BO2 type geared DC motor. The RPM of the motor is 8200. That is, the motor shaft rotates 8200 times in one minute. The motor is a source of motion. This motor has a motor cap which helps in attaching the motor to a structural part. Remote control. Curio Spark remote control can control two motors. It has two sets of two buttons S1, S2 and S3, S4. Two DC motors can be connected to the remote control through two connectors M1 and M2. The motor connected to M1 is controlled using S1 and S2 push buttons, while the motor connected to M2 is controlled by push buttons S3 and S4. The remote control comes with a 4 cell battery holder. The battery supply is connected to the remote control using a DC jack. The M1 and M2 connectors have guide mechanism which restricts incorrect attachment of wires. Through this video, we have understood Curio Spark kit's parts. We now know usage of each part. We also know usage of main tools such as screwdriver and spanner.